Sunday roast. Uh, welcome back to something a little different for our last show of the year. We're looking for an edge this off-season. We're looking to sharpen the skills of uh, not just the panel, but all the players in the game. And uh, we've actually brought in today Pierre Ulmer and his uh, good mate, Troy Roots. Yes. And you guys are sports vision scientists. Yes. Uh, you've got a few stores around Sydney uh, at Burwood. There's a, a full practice and another yes. practice over Cogra Way and Mona Vale. Mm -hmm. And you guys have this board here today that we're going to put Matthew Johns up against MG, but it's all about uh, hand-eye coordination. coordination. Now, can you tell us about the players that are currently using this? And it seems to be a bit of a, a secret in rugby league. Yeah, sure. We started about in the late 90s, Shane Werrett. And as you know, he was a, a well-known speedster. Mm. But one thing he lacked in his game was, you know, ball handling. And so we did a lot of work with Shane Werrett when he was at Parramatta. And that year, he was actually the leading try scorer um, and had a you know, fantastic season. From that, we uh, developed our army, which led to the board that we'll be looking at shortly. And, I mean, essentially, at the elite level, there are five key skills across any sport. And it's eye-hand coordination, eye-foot coordination, peripheral awareness... Uh, what we call coincidence anticipation, which is timing and explosiveness, getting off the mark quickly. And if your athlete has those five key skills, um, they will get to first grade. Now, Roy Azatazi, I'm told, is the, uh, is, the, is the huge success story of this. He, he started using this about 18 months ago. Yes, 18 months ago, he first had laser eye surgery. We found that his corneas were shaped a bit like a football rather than a basketball. Funny that. Um, so, so he had laser surgery done first with Paul Hughes at Hurstville mm. and thereafter uh, we, we wanted to develop his ball handling skills. So he used to come in once a week and, and do half an hour training sessions and the results we got were just incredible. Um, I mean his ball handling, he became a ball playing forward and his confidence level just skyrocketed and when you speak to Roy he'll tell you his hands move without thinking and that's what you want. Uh, All right, well, let's, um, we're talking about uh, giving an edge, and yes. I know that the Chelsea Football Club in England uh, yes. are, are one of the mobs that have Using picked this, up this little yeah. Australian product. Yes, with the There's a stat they yeah. tell me that backs against forwards, that the reaction time of backs is about 20% better than forwards. So we thought we'd yes. put Matty Johns against MG today and uh, talk us through what big Matthew Johns is going to do today. OK, yes. Matty, I'm in your hands. Swing yeah. around, mate. <coughs> now, this is going to be a proactive mode, OK, yep. so that will come on. It will actually, you'll react to it, of course, hitting it, and then, of course, it re responds to the next lie. The faster you can do it, think fast thoughts, mate. Okay. That's all you've got to think of, OK? okay. Think of Shane Wear. Shane Wear. Yeah. 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 Shane Wear there for Darren Clark. Here we go. Yep. So here we go, Matthew Johns. Go, okay, mate. Fast to react to lights. That's it. Oh. That's it. They Come tell on. me the best athletes train get under three That's seconds. Come on. Yes. Come on. Faster. Faster. Come on. Just a crack. Uh. Nope. So pull, uh, That's it. Matthew okay. is still an elite athlete. If you pull any man off the screen, <laughs> pull any man off the screen, what would they react to? What, what, not, what second? not bad. Not bad. They would do it in about 13 seconds. Yeah. Right. A um, non-athlete, a non-athlete will do it around about 11.2. You've done it in 14.34. So that's just above, I suppose, geriatric level. <laughs> <laughs> that's not bad. That's good. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll try MG up against it. Uh, see how we go. Gus, what about teams looking for an edge? Uh, Anthony Minicello uses this. Steve Menzies has used this career, and he now has the reactions of a 20-year-old league player. Mm. Is this the sort of thing you've got to be looking for? Oh, absolutely. You know, we, we've also, uh, down at the Institute of Sport, they've got a great program on depth oh. provision, uh, where sometimes footballers, when the ball comes towards them, whilst the ball might be there, mm. they actually see it here, they see it there, and it's only a fraction of a second, but it might be the difference between closing the hands too early or, or not quite knowing it. And, and depth of vision has been a, a big tool that they've got to work on. Well, let's see MG okay. go, uh, representing all forwards, all, all right, forwards mate. across the world. All MG, pigs. Here all we pigs. Go. And with the score to beat is 14.34 seconds. Fast, mate. Fast. That's it. Beautiful. Go Come on, MG. Jeez. That's it. Faster. Faster. I think he was hiding behind the curtains last night, MG. He's a bit slow today. <laughs> Go. Go. That's it. Any teams like well the done. Bulldogs well have expressed well interest? Done. Let's have a look yes. at MG's oh, time. What well, have we got? 11.06. We're, we're, we're just above non athlete, mate, which is fantastic. 11.06. Pete Matthew. That is fantastic. 11. So, okay. Oh, we'll throw it away. Can we have a round of applause or something? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now, if, if you were say, if, if there's rugby league teams, of, you know, first grade squads watching this, mm -hmm. uh, what, what's the advice? They get hold of this sort of gear, they get on it right through the off season, or just five weeks leading up to their first game next sure. year. I mean, the first important criteria is to have an eye examination. So what Phil was talking about was the system of of the visual pathway, making sure that the athlete can see, that they have good depth perception, 
Um, and once they pass an eye examination, we then move on to visual motor learning. The other interesting area is looking at their eye movement patterns and where they look. And there's a lot of interesting research coming out which ultimately helps in decision making because it's amazing how, I mean, as a coach, you want your... You do so much training on the ground mm. and then you want them to do that on the field, but they don't do it. But what about Penrith finished last this year? Can you help Penrith? I'm sure we can. <laughs> their handling, would their handling oh, improve? Five weeks we on that, would it, would it, would it help? It definitely. And what we've also found is after five weeks of training, if you stop training, you can maintain your scores for up to ten weeks. So there's a long-lasting effect. The other great time to use this is leading up to the semi-finals. So, what, five weeks out from the semis? Yep, absolutely. Sharpen up, freshen up? Yes, definitely. All right, well, there you go. Yeah, we've, we've, yeah. Solved, we've solved all the teams that have uh, missed out on the finals this year. This is what they need. So they can this, get in uh, touch with you. Is this is safe for kids to use at home? Uh, <laughs> is it, uh, definitely, yes. That's great. Yes. <laughs> is, that, is that it, Matt? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> OK. Yeah. Thank you for coming in, Pierre. Oh, it's a pleasure. Showing that. We're looking for an edge. Yep. We've got an exclusive on the Sunday race. And if, if, if it does take off, like with the football teams, can you put like a Sunday race logo on the board? Oh, I'd be happy, That'd yeah. be great. Yeah, yeah fantastic. Excellent. OK, we'll take a break on the uh, Sunday roast. We'll go to the break with some hits and more coming up after this.